All right, welcome to Geometry 6-1. Uh, we're learning about space figures and cross-sections. Uh, but first, let's just establish some definitions. And so the very first one I want to establish is uh, what is a polyhedron? And a polyhedron is basically a space figure. Uh, and if you, most people might be, used to be calling this a three-dimensional figure. So space figure and three-dimensional figure are the same thing. Um, whose surfaces are polygons. And what do I mean by this? Uh, well, in this example, you can see that um, the surfaces, so that would mean triangle HDE, right? And we'll learn a technical word for this. But all these surfaces are polygons. Um, so an example that would not be, and I'll do this in red, this would not be a polyhedron, it would be um, an organic shape um, that might be 3D, but uh, this is not a polygon. Okay, let's look at another definition. Let's see if I can erase this. Another dis uh, definition that we're going to go over is uh, faces, and this is the technical term that we're talking about surfaces earlier. So faces is basically an individual surface of the th of a three D figure. Forgive my handwriting there. So again, uh, triangle or let's go rectangle E F G H. This one on the on the floor here. Um, I'll try to shade it in. This on the base of the triangle is a surface or a face of this triangle, even though it's on the bottom. So any side, uh, you know, if I wanted to do a different color here and show you uh, this triangle, EFH, you get the point. Um, but the point is, a face is just, you know, one of basically the sides or the surfaces of this 3D figure. Um, let's look at an edge. An edge is a segment formed by the intersection of two faces. So basically, let's say we have uh, this face here, the rectangle DEFG, and we have this face here of triangle EFH. Um, An edge would be this line right here. It's where they connect, right? So it's formed by the intersection of this face and this face, which is uh, segment EF is our edge. So remember, it's the edge is a segment, so it's segment EF. And if I highlighted that for you made the line, it would be this. Segment EF is the intersection of those two faces. And then lastly, we have uh, a vertex. And a vertex is a point, so not a segment, a point, where three or more edges intersect. So, uh, if we added a third edge, face, and I'll just shade in another color here. Um, I'm going to cover up this other one, but it's fine. Let's say we added this third face to show you, right? Okay. So we had three three faces now, um, and we're also I'm going to highlight three edges. Oops. That's not the right thing. Here's an edge of those two faces. Here's an edge of these two faces. And where these three meet is a point where the three or more edges intersect. Uh, so in this case, uh, this vertex or vertice is E. Um, and that's it for this. Let's move on. Let's real quickly look at uh, Euler's formula. I'm not going to go into too much detail, um, but 
you're going to do some problems in your book with this, but basically it just says that the number of faces plus the number of vertices will equal the number of edges plus 2. So if we look at this, how many faces do we have? We have uh, 1, and then we have the two triangles, so that makes 3. You have the floor, which is 4, and then you have the back side, which is 5. So uh, that would be, we have five faces. Now let's count the number of vertices. We have one here, three or more, two, three or more, three, four, five, six. So that'd be plus six equals uh, the number of edges. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So total there, there's nine plus two. And does 11 equal 11? Yes, it does. So that's your formula. Um, and you could use this to solve some problems. So if you're giving uh, shapes with a lot more faces or vertices or edges, um, you can replace whatever you need to here based off what you're given to solve. Um, problem two in your workbook is much like that. Uh, lastly, we're verifying Euler's formula in two dimensions. So, uh, in two dimensions. And basically, we're going to um, take the shape that we worked with last time. And if we looked at all the different um, faces that this has, we'd have these f five faces. So, uh, I'll use some descriptive language. The backboard here, the floor of it, the two walls of the triangles, and then the top of it, which is this other rectangle here. Right? So that's our five faces. And if we were to lay all these flat on the ground and look overhead, it would look like this. So you have, first you have your, um, this one on the ground here, if you will, and then your two supporting walls, triangles, the back piece, and then uh, the lid, if you will. Um, and so Viewer's, Euler's formula in 2D is a little bit different, and what this says is um, that the number of faces plus the number of vertices equals the number of edges plus 1. And when we translate that to two dimensions, um, Faces, we're, we're going to call uh, these areas regions now. Um, so this is one region, two region, three, four. There's five regions. Uh, vertices stays the same, but just to identify them, we have one, two, uh, in two dimensions, we're um, two edges now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten vertices. And then our edges... Uh, we're actually counting segments now because we're in, again we're in two dimensions here. So looking for segments, we have one segment, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's where the fourteen comes. And substituting these values into our formula, we could see that uh, faces does five plus ten equal fourteen plus one. Yes, 15 equals 15. So we verified uh, Euler's formula in two dimensions as well. Okay, good luck in your book, and um, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks, bye.